Hi, this is Timothy Miller with DotsCast with Amos from Joust, and we're going to be doing an interview today at RTX 2014, so tell me what Joust is. Explain this to me. So Joust is a platform and a social network really around competition. So what, you know, what we're creating is something where people can engage around the things that they love in a competitive way. So here at RTX, for example, we have basically created a game out of the conference by asking trivia polls as well as some predictive questions on what's going to happen over the course of the weekend as well as a scavenger hunt which helps get people to check out some of the booths and at the end of it all the person with the most points on the leaderboard wins some really cool prizes how has that been going for take so far is people been pretty excited uh, about it and stuff really it's really really well and when we look at uh the the number of folks that are coming in and then playing and how much that they're playing and how obsessive they're being it's uh it's very exciting to see well honestly it seems to fit especially like a rooster teeth crowd so well because they have so many running jokes and ridiculous things that happen um so just real quick, how long have you guys been doing this? How how long has this platform been? Yeah, going? so we the idea has sort of been percolating around, and, and there's been a beta out for almost a year, but we really only launched the product about six weeks ago um, with, with uh, an installment with the X Games that we did here in Austin. Mm -hmm. How exciting was that, the X Games? That was pretty fun. It was really exciting. It was really cool to work with those guys. You know, it's live television, so there's, you know... A, Similarly, we had things that set up, were set up in advance, but there's also a lot of things that just unfold as, as they do here throughout mm -hmm. the course of the weekend, so you're having to be on your toes and creating new content all the time. Is that exciting, just always having to like, just watch for, just to make a game, really? Like, you're it, just a constant game. It, it is. It's very cool. You, the, the best way I can describe it is I feel like I've become like a part of what's going on, even though we're behind the scenes, you know, because you have to pay attention to everything that's going on, and there's a few of us that'll do that, and we're you know, constantly just seeing what's happening, seeing what people find interesting, what's resonating with people, and then turning that into something that people can engage around. Yeah, I, I noticed that it's, it's like, it's almost like betting, but yeah. with these points, and it's just, right. it seems really fun. Um, what's, what's been your favorite thing about, you know, moving forward with this? What's been the most exciting to you? I, I think for me personally, I, I, I am a little bit of a competitive person by nature, and, um, and I love to engage around things that I'm passionate. And so, especially when there's topics in here that I love, it's just really fun to go deep. And to, you know, you, you get to have these really cool debates that you would be having anyway and keep score. <laughs> yeah. that's, that's my favorite part. Yeah. It's just, it's all the stuff you talk about while you're watching TV anyway. Exactly. But now you can be your friends. Exactly. Um, so, where do you guys want to expand? Where are you, where are you hoping to go next? Where are we going? Yes. Is it the moon? Uh, it's the moon. It's that's, the moon. That's, that's what we hope. Yeah. I mean, you know, the, of course it, you always want to think big when you're doing something like this, but you know, when we sat down and, and thought about, okay, would this be something that people might like? And we realized pretty quickly from talking to people that it's happening in mass everywhere. When you think about it, sure, you know, you're making predictions with your friends, you're tweeting about it, you're putting it on Facebook. And so Really, you know, the, the ultimate vision is we want to be ubiquitous. Wherever there's a joustable content, we want to be there. Now, whether that we reach that goal or not is another thing, but that's the hope. I honestly love the idea of watching Game of Thrones and then being able to bet on who dies every episode. So that's a, that's all really exciting. Yeah. I think you guys should get everywhere. Um, okay. So you've got your site. Mm -hmm. Can you? You guys are you guys looking to integrate elsewhere? Do you have apps where? where yeah. How do you get Joust? Yeah, so um, we have our site, but when we work with our partners, uh, we actually we we prefer when we integrate into their site. So we didn't do that um, with Rooster Teeth, but this time around, uh, but with X Games, for example, if you went to xgamescom Joust, we're right there on yeah. their on their site, and that's how we that's that's how we prefer to integrate. And with a bunch of our partnerships, that will be launching in the fall. That's how we'll be integrating. And then in terms of a destination app, we're nine to 12 months away more than likely because we're developing code so quickly that it's just, it's much faster for us to develop and yeah. cycle you know, when it's when it's web. Yeah, that yeah. makes sense. That makes sense. Um, so obviously you really love this and yeah. a lot of good things happen. What's been the hardest thing, the biggest struggle with trying to set something like this up? You never move as fast as you want to move. Mm. <laughs> you know, we've got lots of really great ideas and and things that we think are going to continue to make this super fun for people. Um, and, the, and the hardest thing is just to to prioritize and make sure that we're building it in a way so that we can ultimately get everything in and it's mm -hmm. it's happening in a, in a logical, uh, sensical way. 
So did you guys expect to become as popular just kind of as you become? Like, did you expect all these events to just really... We, we hope. Like, <laughs> yeah, I guess. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, we're, we're all cautiously optimistic all the time mm -hmm. and we'll remain cautiously optimistic. That seems like a good attitude. Um, well, it seems like the platform's awesome. It Thank seems you. like people Thank are you. really enjoying it. Yeah. Um, actually, I'm pointing at him and no one can see him, but Drew Burlingham, my co-owner, was messing with it a lot yesterday nice. trying to figure out <laughs> how to win the prizes and stuff. So, um... Answer all the bonus questions. Blue stars. Yeah. <laughs> Blue stars. That's the hint of the week from Dots yeah. Cast. So, um, let's see. So, let's plug your site real quick. Where where do we joust.com, right? Is that just where you find it? Yeah, or? if you go to joust.com, you'll find the core site. If you want to go right to the RTX uh, contest, it's joust.com slash RTX. And, uh, you know, we are adding new content on a daily basis, literally. So, keep checking back. Keep checking back for new features like being able to create a small groups of just your friends and follow your friends. That'll be in the next couple of weeks. And um, pretty soon after that, you'll be able to create your own content as well. Awesome. And do you guys have any announced partnerships coming up or anything? Or is it all uh, Not announced just yet, but, okay. but but very soon we'll announce a few more. Awesome. Yeah. Well, you guys should keep an eye out for that because Joust is fun and whatever they're messing with is probably going to be fun too. Cool. Thanks. So, no problem. Um, well, thank you so much for your time. And is there anything else you'd like to talk about with Joust? Anything that I missed? No, just thank you very much. Thank you for all the support. And keep playing and telling your friends. <laughs> awesome. Thank you again. Yeah, thanks so much.